and God is with you. If you are not blessed, when will you be blessed? You know, when you know God, fear comes on you. But the one who they have no fear, they don't know God. Moment you see God, moment you know God, first thing, the fear comes on you. Of course, I'm used to God all the time. But today I want to tell you, while God is, don't miss the blessings, okay? Throw away all those unnecessary things, pride, arrogance, ugliness of the heart, throw it away. It bring a great blessings to you. If this will miss, I do not know whether you will see the next Christmas. The time is like that at the moment. And it's going so fast. One voice, people upon the entire universe says, the time is running, time is running, time is running, time is flying, time is flying. Whole entire world is talking the one language. And it is really running. And it's written in the Bible. It's written in the Bible. Jesus said, at the end of the age, I shall shorten the time. Let's very elect. He said, let's very elect shall be deceived by the devil, by the Satan. And no one shall enter then into the kingdom. So before Satan destroys everybody, he said, I will shorten the time and I will hurry and I'll quickly come. And today I saw that. The Lord has begun his new era. And spiritually, his glory is established today upon the face of the earth. And the carnal light of the sun and moon has no meaning. When God said, I shall be the light of the world. This is the day he does it today. Let's fear God. Honor him. How do you honor God? He says very clearly, establish my honor. Let thy people know that I am, that he I am. I am the Lord thy God. Let's I shall strike them. They shall not be. That's what he said. They shall not be. You understand the meaning of they shall not be. This is very serious. Establish your salvation. All these years of my labor and pain which I have taken in protecting you from the Satan, Satanic forces, principalities, fighting your war, literal war. You know it, I know it. And if you're ultimately thinking not to honor God and want to go to hell, why do I waste my breath? I don't want to waste my breath. It will be less trouble for me because there is no result <coughs> happening. There's nothing good coming out. Then I say, okay, itna kam se kam, itna kam to kam ho jayega. Band karo ye dukaan. Inventory khatam karo. Bekhaar ki inventories jo hai, मैं नहीं चाहता ड्रैग इट इन अ नेक्स्ट ईयर या तो सही करके आगे चलो नहीं तो वो इन्वेंटरी को काटो फादर कट इज इट थ्रोन इन टू द फायर दस वॉट आई डू एट द एंड ऑफ दर प्रोनिंग क्रिसमस ट्री शुड लुक गुड क्रिसमस ट्री शुड लुक ग्लोरियस What do you understand by Christmas tree? We decorate the Christmas tree. It's not the Christmas tree we decorate. We decorate our life tree. We decorate our personality. We decorate our nature. That are the beautiful. Our house. It, it reflects our image, how we are thinking. I tell people either I'm a man of God or I'm not a man of God. There is no in between. Either you are a believer or you are not a believer. There is no in between. He wrote it very clearly in Revelation. Either be your heart or you be a warm. He said, Luke warm, I spit you out. That's what Jesus said. Resurrected Lord. I said, I'll talk to them at me. I don't want my people to be spat out by Jesus. My job is to sharpen my people. And as a good teacher, I do that. Faithfully, I do that with the love. I do that. I say I love you, and I'll let you go to the hell. I don't think I love you then. I'm very strict in teaching. I'm very strong in my word, and very raw. 
when I give it, I lay down. Absolutely, I lay down. I don't think whether you will like it or not, it's not my business. God doesn't like it. I look at this, God didn't like it. Okay. Don't worry, Lord, I'll take this matters. What is the meaning of the church? Church is a cleansing, sanctifying. Lord, sanctify me. Lord, sanctify me. Lord, sanctify me. Achha. Just till I sanctify karna suru kiya. God bolta hai, tera to sari chabdi udar dunga main. Kyunki itni gandi hai. Oh Lord, cleanse me, sanctify me, cover me with your holy blood. Kya? Pani hai, gutter ka, holy blood. He said you are trampled my blood. Blood. Blood of Jesus Christ. Chalo na, aapka thoda ek nikal de, ek chamach nikal de, dekhte hai kaise nikal da aapka. Oh no, 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 pastor, no, please. No. no, this is very, you know, what are you talking, pastor? You, you, no, no, ek thoda ek chamach, jada nahi. Apply the blood of Jesus. Colon water. It's a bad insult to my Lord and your Lord. When you talk these words and language, bear it in mind, they are very heavy. Costly affair. You buy the perfume of 20,000 rupees, 25,000 rupees, one spray. There is no such thing existing like a blood of Jesus Christ available in the bottles. Very precious. And are you worthy to use that precious blood? He came to redeem the world. He came to redeem. Why he loves me? This is the language I talk. He's listening to me, what I'm talking. And I'm pleasing him. I please only one. One who sits behind me. I'm not of the world. I'm for the Lord Almighty. You want to come home? I'm going. You want to come home with me? I'll take you. But if you think you are too great, what will I do with you? What worth you are? What good you are? But when God looked at the centurion, he sends, you know, Peter, he said, go to the centurion's house. Tell him you have found the favor in the eyes of God. Wow. I don't like to start like this preaching. My spirit becomes very heavy. And I can preach 48 hours non-stop. 48 hours non-stop I can preach on the one single line. The favor of God and honor of God. But we have a time restriction. 